What's up guys? Welcome back to welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be finally modifying the Toyota Supra. So there's actually a lot of things on this car that I've been working on kind of behind the scenes, which I'm gonna be throwing in a couple clips right now, I guess, while I'm talking. Um, I had to get a couple things ordered from Toyota itself, and uh, we actually have something else that we're gonna be installing just to perfect this car. I've literally put everything on this car to the OEM T because this car, honestly, I wanted to restore it to OEM perfection. And there's one more finishing touch on this car, guys. Literally this car is missing three clips. I went to Toyota because I couldn't find it anywhere else to get those three little clips. It's literally three little things that I honestly could have been like, eh, it doesn't need it, but I just have to spend the money because I want it perfected. And then after that, guys, we got boxes and boxes and boxes of modifications for this car. Now, to be honest with you guys, I ordered all this stuff like three months ago and it got here like three months ago, so I don't really know exactly what I have. But let's just go ahead and go through them and start installing some of these modifications on the Supra because the Supra is looking pretty amazing, but uh, but you guys know me. What is a car without carbon. Do -do -do. Is that a Carly adapter? Yes, indeed, Nor. That is a Carly adapter. This video is sponsored by Carly once again. A scanner that I absolutely stand by. A scanner that I absolutely love and I've been using for years now. For those of you guys who want a scanner that pretty much does it all. When I mean does it all, I mean not just reading codes, but also explains codes, lets you code in custom features, also helps you program new things as well. And my favorite part about all of that, on top of all of that, is the fact that this thing is portable and Bluetooth. Carly is a scanner that I literally put in all of my cars and it's it's not something I ever want to leave the house without. If you guys are driving on the freeway and you get a misfire, your car just cuts out, you're just like, what is going on? Is it something minor? Is it something major? You end up calling a tow truck. If you guys had a Carly adapter in your car, you can just pretty much plug it in, diagnose your car right then and there, tells you exactly what the issue is, and then you guys end up deciding whether or not you need an expensive tow back or you just need a spark plug, for example. My boy Jonathan the other day actually needed a fuel pump. He actually found that out with Carly. He literally was on the side of the road, car just completely shut off on him. He's like, what the heck's going on? Wouldn't start or anything. Plugged in Carly. And and it said he needed a fuel pump because the fuel pump faults were on. And I was a 328. That's something you wouldn't even think about, but with Carly, it saved the day. He still ended up getting his car towed back home, but that's that's besides the point. <laughs> the fuel pump's kind of a bigger situation. But yeah, guys, if you guys want Carly to help you guys save the day and help figure out what's wrong with your guys' car, make sure to check them out down below and use my code. Right, guys we just got here to Toyota I just need one single piece which is that a pillar on the passenger side that's damaged on my car hopefully they have the part I did order it but I mean it's $55 and I doubt that part is $55 but if it is $55 we pick it up and it's paint match and everything that would be literally insane so I'll let you guys know what I did order inside and I'm hoping it's the right part so for those of you guys who are wondering what I'm talking about it's this piece right over here I don't know if it's painted black or just a black trim piece but yeah this is only $50 
over here at the dealer, which I, it's insane because online everyone's asking $200. So if it is only $50 here, um, that's gonna be a cop and that's the last piece we need to perfect our Supra. All right guys, so I'm kind of in a rush right now. I just got back inside I, and I'm happy to say that that trim piece for $45 plus $5 or whatever in fees and taxes, whatever. So 50 bucks out the door um, and I got that brand new trim piece, exact same color. I was gonna have that thing paint match, which would have cost me at least $100 and uh, and it's wavy and stuff like that. Do I have to stop on some Bondo? But thankfully, thankfully, uh, we don't have to do any of that because again, I'm trying to do everything as only as possible. Plus we have paperwork now, which is super nice. So yeah, guys, we did get the exact part that we needed for $45. That's insane, guys. That's insane. Anyways, we are heading down right now since we're in the area to get the car, um, just the paperwork so we can actually take it to the DMV and start getting the registration process done. Because once you get a car from auction, um, you get like these temporary um, papers, but you can get the official papers once the car is running and driving and, you pr and you're, you're pretty much ready to get all the inspections done on it. We did get the smog done. We did get the brake and light done, but we need to get uh, the VIN verification done, which is gonna be an easy peasy lemon breezy. <laughs> So for those of you guys who are also wondering what this piece is, I believe it's the same part number for all BMWs. I did get this from Toyota though, because technically this thing is a Toyota. So uh, yeah, I do have the three little clips right over here. It just goes, it's just gonna keep everything in place instead of this fender kind of moving back and forth. And just like that guys, we have all the clips put back in there and this fender is not moving whatsoever. So now that we have everything pretty much perfected on this car, it is time to get these boxes out. So just in case you guys are wondering where all of these carbon fiber pieces are coming from, these carbon fiber parts are all coming from from Keys Motorsports. Literally every single piece I ordered was from Keys Motorsports. So if you guys want anything from Keys Motorsports, make sure to use my code down below for a discount. I think it's only proper to start off with the smallest box. Like I said, guys, I honestly don't remember what exactly I ordered. Now, I know I ordered a lip and maybe a diffuser as well and a spoiler, but other than that, there's like maybe like six, seven boxes. I don't really know what the rest of the stuff is. Shout out to Brian from Keys Motorsports. He ended up actually sending me some goodies as well. So I got this Keys Motorsports hat. And not to mention, I also got some other goodies which I'll be showing you guys in a little bit. But let's go ahead and just get the rest of those boxes because we got so much to unbox. And just like that, guys, you pretty much have every piece of carbon fiber that were in those boxes. I was thinking about dropping this pretty much in two videos, but I was like, hey, guys, um, everyone's been waiting on the Super for so, so, so long, including myself. So let's go ahead and literally do a full carbon fiber transformation all in this one video. So for those of you guys who want to get a Super and see how a carbon fiber kit will look on your car, well, I mean, this is all going to be done in this one video. It's going to be pretty insane. So what we have over here is a carbon fiber spoiler. This is parts of the carbon fiber front lip. Parts to the carbon fiber rear diffuser, carbon fiber diffuser, carbon fiber side skirts, carbon fiber front lip, and we also have some carbon fiber vent grills right over there as well. Now, because this is the multi piece diffuser, we're gonna be installing some pieces before others. Like, for example, we're gonna install these side, uh, these side pretty much extensions first, and then once we install the side extensions, we're gonna be installing the full carbon fiber lip. Now, I probably am gonna be doing some research to see if that's the proper method of doing this, but obviously, if this video ends up going up, you guys obviously know that I ended up installing this successfully. All right, guys, I actually did a little bit of research myself to see if there's another way to mount this. Thing, like a like an easier way um i think honestly it, it's, it's as easy as it honestly looks I, I think i'm over just complicating it basically i mean you pretty much just assemble this piece right onto this thing probably use a jack to hold it up and then you guys can see the screw holes line up perfectly where they're supposed to like these two pieces same with this side as well so i'm assuming you use one long bolt which this diffuser comes with to go straight through both these pieces into your bumper same there and then this piece right over here you just put that right there put one long bolt goes through both of those straight into the, the diffuser so without further ado let's just go ahead and just get that installed
head just like that guys that's pretty much the easiest way to install literally putting on one side over here putting on the other side and all this stuff pretty much just lines up in the center no problem um i did use a jack in the middle just to kind of hold it up while i'm doing one side but honestly what i super like about how this piece is indented into this carbon piece is that guys there is no fitment issues and there's no play with it whatsoever and that's super nice i literally didn't use any 3m and it's literally like stuck to the bumper which is I don't even know what to say. I didn't have to drill into the bumper. I just had to drill from the bottom. So if I wanted to reverse this, no one's gonna be able to see any drill hole marks, no 3M marks. It's gonna be super clean. And the only reason why I'd ever even think about removing a carbon fiber diffuser or a carbon fiber lip is if I crack it. So um, hopefully that doesn't happen anytime soon, but dang, that looks too aggressive in the bottom. We're definitely gonna have to do some aggression to the top now. Now what I love about carbon fiber spoilers, guys, is the fact that you literally just pull off the 3M and put it on there. No screws, nothing needed. As long as the 3M on here is good. And I have no bad experience with Keys Mortis it's 3M, so um, honestly, I don't even know if this is 3M, but whatever tape you end up using, um, it's pretty good. Never had an issue where the, the spoiler actually came off or anything like that. Um, so yeah, this should be a very easy install. I'm just gonna go ahead and peel all this stuff, heat it, and then you guys will see me apply it onto the car. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, this spoiler at first, because of these little guys down here, I didn't know how I was gonna feel about them exactly. I honestly test fitted the spoiler and I was like, I don't even know if I wanna put that on. But with this diffuser, honestly, these two things paired together, it's just so much aggression that actually looks good together. This is a kit that I was trying to try um, something new because a lot of other companies sell a bunch of different things, but Keys Motorsports has what everyone else has, but also these ones, which are just unique. I've never seen any other company sell these pieces. So I decided to cop these ones, you know, just to stand down and whatnot. And honestly, guys, um, literally seeing these two pieces separate, I didn't know how I felt about it, putting it together. Just look at that aggression. <laughs> I'm super happy now this is coming together so far. And this is just the beginning. We have the rear end of the car done. We still have the sides and we still have the fronts and we still have some other pieces on the hood as well. This thing's gonna be decked out in carving, guys. It's gonna look so good. We're definitely gonna have to get a clean cinematic of this thing outside the garage. Thankfully the car is clean so I don't have to wash it, but this is just gonna look too good. So the next thing I wanna tackle is the side skirts. I'm gonna do this side, the other side, I'll just do the power of editing and whatnot, uh, mainly because it's the same thing on both sides. But yeah, side skirts are literally just 3M and you could put a screw or two. I might put a screw or two, but you honestly just need 3M on side skirts. And just like that guys, after getting the side skirt carbon fiber extensions, which are looking pretty dang good, I'm not gonna lie. Now we can finally get to this front lip. Now the front lip's been scaring me a little bit, mainly because it's a lot of pieces, but just like most carbon fiber, it's pretty easy to install. And if you guys are wondering how to install this, make sure to check it out on my second channel, link down below. But without further ado, let's go ahead and try to figure out how to get this carbon fiber front lip on there, because that's the last thing this thing needs to be balanced all the way around. We have an aggressive spoiler, aggressive diffuser, aggressive side, skirts now we just need that front lip to complete this car And just like that, guys, this three, four piece, five piece lip, one, two, three, four, no, four piece lip is officially on there. Didn't know how I was gonna feel about this sandwich style kind of like front lip, but guys, this actually looks like, the thing is about this whole kit from Keys Motorsports, it is very, very, very aggressive. Adds a lot of definition to the car. Now this car, the Supra, already came with kind of like, as you can see, like kind of already has a diffuser, kind of already has side skirt extensions, the original black one, and it kind of already had a diffuser. And I actually really dig it. It's it's a very subtle and nice add-on to the Supra that comes completely stock. Now with this spoiler, that diffuser, these side skirts and that lip, they're all very, very, very aggressive. And that honestly, at first, seemed a little scary for me because I've never actually went this aggressive with anything I'm, I'm usually the guy that gets flat everything um, but it's starting to grow on me little by little and I'm, I'm and I'm very happy I went with this kit mainly because again I've, I've never seen any Supra with this front lip with that diffuser with that spoiler or with these side screws like these are all like these are all very unique let me know what you guys think about them down below and if you guys want to copy these remember to check out Keys Motorsports down below but as of right now uh, we still have one more carbon fiber accent to put on this car which is the carbon fiber pieces that go right over here I mean why not just like Adam 
Three, two, one. And just like that, guys, we got Carvin on Carvin. Let me know what you guys think about this kit. Because again, this is a very, very, very unique kit. And I've honestly never seen it anywhere else. Now, when I say kit, all this stuff is sold separately. I'm not saying that, like, if you guys don't have to get this flip, if you guys don't like this front lip, or for some reason you don't like the side skirt, you don't like the diffuser or the spoiler, you can just get pieces of this. It's all sold separately at the Keys Motorsports website. Let me know down below, guys, what piece is your favorite? Is it this front lip? Is it these side skirts? Or maybe the spoiler? But definitely my favorite part is definitely gonna have to be this diffuser. Now before I actually get this car outside so we can see this thing in the sun, um, we do have a few things over here that I'm gonna be giving out to you guys. I have so many Keys Motorsports key tags and uh, key chains. So for those of you guys who actually want some of this stuff, the first person that hits me up on Instagram, well actually technically the first four people, um, I'm just gonna give away all this randomly. So do not ask um, for this specifically or this specifically. Just the first four people that hit me up for a Keys Motorsports accessory, I'll be sending this out to you for free. So make sure to check out my Instagram down below. Yes, you can pause this video and go do it right now if you guys want one of those for free. But without further ado, let's go ahead and start this bad boy up and see her outside. I said bad boy and then her. Um, it's a her. And just like that, guys, we are at the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button. If you guys are excited for one more super video, I have a really, really, really good one in mind for the next video, which is a lot of more aesthetic modifications, but for the engine bay, I think it's gonna be super dope. It's not the last super video, but at least the next, like the last major upgrade video, because obviously we did pretty much all the carbon on the exterior, so we're gonna be doing a major rehaul for the engine bay. I think it's gonna be pretty insane. And doing these jam-packed videos, in my opinion, is probably more useful for those of you guys who want to eventually get a Supra. Um, you just have to watch one of my videos to see a full carbon fiber rehaul, one video to see a full engine rehaul, and I'm gonna be trying to do more like that than a full breakdown of literally just a front lift video, a rear diffuser video, and all that kind of stuff. Obviously, on my end, uh, I'm not really making much money doing it this way, because obviously more videos means more money, but end of the day, these are the videos that I do enjoy, and I hope you guys enjoy it too. So if you guys can do me a favor, and just smash that like button. That would mean the world, and don't forget, if you guys wanna get any of these things from Keys Motorsports, use my code, because that would help me as well. Without further ado, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.